Hi everybody, it's Mary. I um, yesterday made a card for Father's Day uh, that was a tie-dye t-shirt and I wanted to come and make a quick little video to show you the uh, beer bottle that I made um, for Father's Day. Um, it also stands. So I've got some pieces here to show you just how um, I did it. Um, the bottle is from, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Crafter's Companion. Um, and the um, saying is from um, a different set, the same set I used at the last video for the, uh, from Crafter's Companion. So, um, so the other card that I made, the t-shirt opened from the top, um, and this one um, opens from the side. And all you need to do, you can do this with any die, um, to make a shape and to make it stand is just to make sure that when you use your die that it's over the one edge is over the paper um, so it doesn't the cutting edge doesn't cut on this side so you would put the cutting edge on the outside I could have done it on the top but it doesn't it's very small and it doesn't give it a lot of um, <coughs> excuse me, um, a lot of room, um, and it could easily break. So, um, the thing I love about this die set is, um, hopefully you can see the cap, um, has little indentions, so it looks like a regular, um, crimped cap on a bottle. So, and this set also makes a champagne bottle or a wine bottle because there's an extension. So that's the finished. So this is the one we're gonna to put together. Um, I took white cardstock, and then this is a foil type paper uh, from Crafter's Companion in a bronzy color, and I just kind of darkened the edges um, using fire brown ink um, so that it kind of made the inside a little bit lighter like light shining through the bottle and then I just used the sandstorm um, to kind of age um, the little labels so so we're just going to put it together so I could show you how easy it is um, once again I've got the Kalau glue and uh, clear Kalau which is my favorite because it gives me time to kind of wiggle things around, especially when you're working with a shape card. You want to be able to line it up perfectly. And if I used a uh, roller, um, like my ATG gun, um, once it's down, it's down. And there's, you know, no way to move it unless you, you know, Run the risk of tearing it so this kalal gives you the extra time to maneuver so that you can get it just perfect father's day is just maybe six weeks away but as i said in my last video we're we're going to a craft show, which is also a car show. So I wanted to get some Father's Day cards ready. All right, so. There's the front. I want to make sure I've got enough glue there. And the nice thing about the Kalau glue also is that it doesn't warp the paper, um, no matter how thin it is, which is a nice, nice thing. All right, so 
this cap is really, really small. And I've got fat fingers, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue here holding it with the reversible tweezers. And then I'm going to get it placed up here and then let it go. And then it will give me time, like I said, to get it just right. Move it over just a tad. Move it up a little. I think that looks good. I'll just hold on to it for a second, make sure that it sets. All right, so this is the band that goes around it and it goes about there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold it and use the kalau because especially with this one, it needs to fit just in the right spot. The good thing about the kalau also is that you can wipe it clean if you get any excess. Looks good right there. Perfect. And see, there's a little bit of glue that just seeped out. And like I said, all you have to do is just wipe it. And it leaves no residue or anything. Now, I could thought about putting this up on uh, some foam pads, but um, I decided not to because I I just think it'll distract and it's supposed to be a label on the bottle. So I'm just gonna put some Kalau on this. And then find a sweet spot about there looks good hold that down there we go make sure if you haven't glued it closed make sure it stays open which it does all right, so that's perfect. So all I need to do is to find a little bit, a little saying like it's your day or something that'll fit because this is a pretty, pretty small area in inside the card itself measures. Let's see from top to bottom six and the widest part is two so it'll fit in a five by seven envelope i might have to um, go ahead and, and make my own envelope to fit since it's such an odd size um, um i'll have to take that off i don't know where that came from see there's always something going on All right. Anyway, so that's it. Um, just wanted to come on and show you this one. Um, I think I might be doing a couple of more. Um, if I have time bef uh, before Saturday morning. Um, if so, I will um, show them and uh, show them to you. Um, that's it. Um, so, um, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and well. Um, I appreciate um, you taking the time to watch, and if you haven't already, um, please subscribe. Um, it helps a lot with um, YouTube, um, and it's greatly appreciated. 
Um, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.